one on a car guy one on a car guy.com and what I got for you here today is a 1990 Volvo 240 I don't know the little alphabeticals that come after that number we'll have to look on the back of it these are definitely one of the best cars ever built just nothing to say about that it's just they're great cars they run like I know tomorrow this is gonna be an exterior review and I'm gonna go over all the different features and all that stuff of the exterior and the main thing I do on this one is I'll show any damages or anything like that that may be on this car. This ought to be interesting. Sometimes people just act like they don't know what to do when they get to the end and there's somebody here. Okay, so this is the once around. And I'll give you the up close in a second here. Now the wind has really been an issue here lately. And I hope it's not on this one. I'm going to try and talk loud and clear and all that stuff. But it is a windy day out. And that's that. So there's your once around. Um, this car is for sale. And you can reach me at 406-642-9602. Ask for Nathan or Sam. And basically, in these videos, I'm going to do an exterior, then I'll do an interior, and then I'll do a test drive, and then I'll put them all together in one. So there'll be four videos of the car. Um, what I like to do first is jump down and show you the underneath. Just that simple. Okay. Still got the original factory guard there. Um, there might be like a come on low level light adjustment. There we go. A little damp this and that. But no big leaks or nothing. It don't leak all over the place. Um, everything's nice and clean. I'm sure you'll come into in time like you can see that looks good now. I don't know when you'd have to replace this kind of stuff. You might or a clunk or a crink right away and be like, hey, there's a clunk or a crink. It's an older car, but you see on the test drive, pff, this older car is one of the nicest driving old Volvos you're gonna find. Okay, the floor pans and everything, absolutely beautiful. A little bit of dampness on the bottom there, but the whole gasket and everything's nice on that. Very clean under here. Wheel wells, just clean as can be. Okay, one more place to look in the back. Oh yeah, this one has a, a deal, 240 deal. Oh, it's got a hole. Don't actually go all the way through and you don't hear it all weird, but there is a hole and corrosion on the muffler. And a little bit on that pipe right there. But the rest, over here, just clean as can be. Cobwebs come free. Okay. That's the underneath, of course. Didn't need description of a description there, did you? Okay, <clears throat> now I'm gonna get going down the side. Now the most obvious and only damage that's really significant, I guess, is on the front here. I'll show you. He grabbed something right there, she dunk, and took that piece right out. Very, very, very easy to pull that piece right there down and put this piece right back on it. I didn't get the piece. I'm gonna leave that for a project for you. Just plain and simple. Um, and when that was done, it made the grill be a little loose and I'll show you the deal on that. That piece popped off or somewhere along the line. So that's the worst of your damage. Actually, since I'm showing this right now, let's show you how the grill does. This is like, I hadn't had a newer one like this. Volvo actually figured out how to put actual little handles in there. Woo, buddy! Got that big plastic looking thing. Okay, these things, where they go in, they're not holding it right there like they should. And they're still connected, it can be pulled out but they're not holding it like it should. So, the bottom pieces, I don't know how that all hooks in. I think it might just swing there, it pretty much does. So, you need these two little plastic clips. Kind of a junkyard piece. And this here, I didn't shine this grill up like I should have, but we'll show you the motor later. It looks great. So, that's the deal with the grill. It's not broke, it's in good shape, but it goes 
slightly back and forth there because it's hanging from them two little threads. Okay, that's the only piece you need really besides the badge grill. <laughs> the badge grill. The badge for the grill. Okay, going down the sides. I'm here to tell you, it's hard to find a door ding on this car and stuff. Um, I'm going to look at it and try and show you going right down it. A little something there maybe. A little scuff, but it didn't really indent it at all. There might be a ding right there. There is a tiny ding. little discoloration around the keyhole. little chips right there, kind of. And my hands are filthy. I've been scrubbing and working and doing tires. Speaking of tires, nice set of Falcon. Look at that tread. Now, original gas cap, green one. That right there. And then this piece here, that's how it's supposed to look. This is cracked from the sun. Now, a good way to fix this is to tape this off right here and put vinyl paint. Psh, it'll work perfectly. Um, there is a chip in the windshield. I'll try it right there. And the top is lightly faded. There's a couple spots like that, not many. In fact, that's the most prominent one I know of, but there's one. And there's one. So on just little fading, the top of the roof is faded. The whole rest, I don't know how much fading there is going on. Pretty much non-existent. <clears throat> Except for one more place that I'll show you right now. After I show you that little scratch there. Looks great. Just looks great. Um, I actually got some beeswax. Or something on it right there. Comes right off. Um, okay, windows look good. Oh, chippage there. I don't know. If, I can't imagine. Did they really paint the the chrome trim or aluminum trim, whatever, black? Could have. It looks good that way. Um, all the rubber seals around the windows look good. Great shape. And right there. As you can see on that, it's faded. Discoloring. The lenses are great, but... Along here, and along here especially, faded a bit. Now you could, tch, 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 little bumper paint. I didn't want to do anything to this car. It's all original, and so I figured I'd just leave it like it is, and you'd see it. Ding! Yes sir, buddy! Right there, a little dingy crease. I just seen this, and I'm wondering, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec, I dropped my towel on my foot. See that? I'm thinking. Yeah. Let that come right off. It's a smudge. And I could probably get it better if I had both hands. Okay, little scratches like that. Tiny. But there's something there. It might even buff out. These won't. Little scuffs. Miscellaneous. Hopefully you can see that. I'll show you in a different light too. It's in great shape. Let's go down this side the same way. And that crease, that's about it right there. It's hard to see unless you're really looking for it. A couple places where the windows have this going on from the tent. It's still tinted, just kind of. Okay, there's light marks in here that aren't really. And this happens on all these cars, it seems, on this color. But this actually was scuffed right here. So he could have scuffed this right there just slightly also. And it does happen on these gold colors a bit. You couldn't see it unless you got up on it. A little rag hair. Trim's all in great shape. In fact, I think it's all there too. Oh, he actually... See, it wasn't scratching at nothing, but this color does that. Seems. He fixed this. He popped a little screw right there, Psst. and then he put that darker color on that to make it match. So, that's the only trim problem, so to speak. I showed you the wheel wells. I've been a little short on help and detailing, 
and stuff. So there's little things on this. There's a little chip kind of start. Actually, that's just window paint because it's from the auction. That's where it came from. Antonita's Ford, and the reason I've got it is because you get these cars from the Ford dealer like that, and they send them right to the auction. They don't want them on their lot. <clears throat> it don't blend in. It don't match. It ain't what people are looking for on their lot. Um, these pieces are a little dry, but they're great. All chrome trim is great. Actually, I wish I'd have got that better. You can see there is no cleaning of this going on. And I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of them. You can see that really cleans up better, but wasn't done. Can I actually do part of them? I don't know. I think I'm going to have to, because I don't want to do it all on camera here. So I've done that. That's that's easy to do. There's a scuff on this thing, like so many of them get. Actually, it's still there and all intact with the cover, which is kind of amazing. Um, I love the bigger lenses and everything in this year. These are in great shape to boot. And just a little adjustment from clicking this and bumping this. So let's look at this trim going around here. I want to make sure it's all there. I was 90% sure it was. Now I'm 100. A little chip right there I might not have shown. Tiny. Okay. That's that. Oh, little bump right there. Tiny, but you can probably see it. Okay, I'm done. A little scratch that I didn't show. So, miscellaneous tiny imperfections that you're gonna run across. This is the kind of part, car, where you get a little part here or there. You can take your weekly visit to the junkyard, pay a buck 50, and get in there and get what you need for 10, 15 bucks, usually. Um, and Craig and O'Reilly, they have all the extra parts with warranties, so easy car to service. One of the best cars ever made, for sure. Well, that's that. Thanks for watching. Nathan, 406 544 6919 will also work. 642 9602 is the better one, though. Uh, that other one doesn't get answered all the time, unfortunately. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuide.com interior video is coming up next, and if it's not uploaded yet, it will be. Thanks for watching. CanSoup.com, TinyBeagles.com got this beautiful Volvo, and it is for sale. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy, one owner car guy.com. And what I've got for you here today is the interior of this beautiful 1990 Volvo 240. Now, since it's a different time of the day, I'm going to go ahead and walk around it and show you just a quick walk around of the car in a different lighting here. Um, I like to do that to where you can see just how anything looks on it, etc. Um, this is a beautiful car. Runs out very nice. I've been driving it around for four or five weeks, I guess. Um, and it runs really nice. Mm, this is a great little car. So, that's that. Just a quick once arounder. And boom! So, Kind of giving you an idea of what exactly you're buying here with this car. Nathan, 406-642-9602. You can call me anytime. And that's the deal. Okay. You've seen it all now. And now it's time to Go up inside and look at the interior. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. There'll be about 80, 90 pictures on there. Beautiful car. This trim is just as nice as it gets. And I showed you where he repaired that with a little thing. Okay, here we go. Door panels. Great shape. Look at this. Hardly any wear on them pedals. Can you see that? I don't know. I can't see that. 
if I can't see that, you can't see that. Well, I just don't like this anymore. There we go. I just learned how to use my camera. Maybe. So that shows that a little better. Sorry about that. And this will show the door panel a little better. I didn't even clean this really. It wasn't all that dirty. That buzzer will just annoy the heck out of you. I'm sure. Seats are in great shape. I'll show the little bit of damages there are. Headliner. White and beautiful. Cages above the seat are in great shape. Headrests. Um, everything's in great shape. Now, this pocket is here. There's a small crack there where they develop on them. Oh, that piece is still there. Amazing, it's even there. That one's gone. Wow. I think all my pictures are messed up. Oh well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Odometer does not turn lately. I don't know how lately. A few cracks here in the dash as it basically gets on these cars. Up there in front of the speaker, you can see one on each side. That side's clean as can be, as is the rest of the dash. Okay. Power windows with the child lockout or whatever. I gotta show you this. Hang on. And they're back. All the lights go out. That's what the brights are on. I can turn that out if I wish. Um, unless that turned them up, which I'm doubting, the dash lights don't come on. I'm wondering if there's a fuse behind that. There's not. It's just a, just to turn up or down. Okay, let's do this. One. One owner car guy, and I'll tell you what, when you get the best cameras you can get, next thing you know you start having problems with battery life and cameras overheating and stuff. Now I was just in a different area after I had a malfunction there, and I wanted to get a quick walk around of it in between, and then we'll get right back to somewhere around where we were because it's the next day now. It messed up and I wasn't able to keep going. Look at that beautiful car. Great looking 240. Okay. Give you another once around here and then we're just right back to the interior sorry about that um, and just the way it happened and the day got in between i hope i start off around the same area so here we go back into it i was gonna fix that dang it okay shows you the little crack there shows you that's good shows you that one's gone annoying buzzer all the lights light up there uh, little clicker does not turn anymore, so it's a true Volvo. This little push thing is missing. AC works great. Let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. Look at this, hang on. I'll show you the pedals when I get out. Okay, window. Um, window. And window. Oh, this one? It's just a little picky on the switch. Got to hit that switch just right. So it's getting a little picky. Boom. Okay, now, from there, lights and everything work. Actually, I don't know what that is. Some kind of fog lights or defrost or someone else knows. Um, the nice Pioneer stereo, antenna all works in the back. Um, speaker on this side does not work. Um, it's blown out or something. Cracks on the dash, miscellaneous like it gets on any of these. Right there as well. And that piece is cracked. I showed you the chip in the windshield right there. And the box and everything. It's in great condition. Little mirror is still there. The light comes on. Extra key in there. It still closes nicely. This piece is slightly loose and this piece is chipped right there 
very insignificant. Like I say, AC works fine. I'm gonna turn it on. Owner's manual, etc. Everything's here. And this isn't about, you know, they made this many of this and la -de da 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 and you know, everybody has different kinds of ooh, some notes. I like notes. Volvo Cars North America. Everybody has a different way of they do their reviews and stuff, and most people are not selling the cars they're reviewing. This car's for sale. And so a little more of what I'm gonna focus on is issues. My issue right now is it's hard to get this in there with one hand. That's what she said. So, got that. There's a little damage on this seat over here I'll show you. Boom, we'll get in and do that in a second. This is peeling right there, as some of them do. The centerpiece is broken. Heated seats, baby. And the way I found that out, that one don't come on. Don't know why. Heated seats, the way I found that out is, um, I turned one on. <laughs> and it was hot. And I believe, well, that's supposed to come on. Maybe it's only a certain speed. However, that was on yesterday. Now this piece is broke like they all get. With a little storage there. But I left the remnants here to where you had it. Hey, look, that one's on. Oh, and that one's on now too. But it's... Oh, there may be a... Wow, that's weird. Maybe it requires something it wasn't getting. I don't know. So, that light comes on for one of the lights in the back, I'm sure. But they're all in there, so I don't know which one. Even the third light is working. Look at the little factory pocket. It hasn't even been stretched out yet. These are in great shape. These things aren't busted all up yet. And let me get back and show you this a different way. It's white. It's in great shape. Oh yeah, it doesn't lock when it's open. There we go. Oh, and it doesn't unlock them all either. Interesting, maybe it does with the key. However, they lock just fine. Maybe it does with that. I don't know. I was thinking maybe it did with that. That won't squeak, man. It just needs a little oil. A little oil. Show you under the hood while we're at it. They actually have a real knob on this here. Instead of the other thing, look at that. Nowhere, just nowhere. Mirrors function. Okay, I like to show the problems up close. Seats, I mean the carpet look great. Burn hole here, burn hole here, and one on the passenger side. And it does not look or smell like this car was ever smoked in. So I'm thinking whatever happened was some kind of accident or freak of nature thing because I'm messing with the aperture of something on my camera right now too. And I don't know if it changed that any. Somebody shout it out if it did. Hey, that changed it. It looked a lot better when you went up. I don't know. I don't know a lot about aperture either. Backs of the seats look great. I'm gonna actually show you. She's gonna go over that. She's four by Sue. Yes, she is. Ba boom. Ba boom. Go get him, mama. Okay. Oh, I actually locked my car. So it locked the trunk. Think about that now. That's Volvo safety, baby. These are great cars. That's all there is to say about it. Oh no, it's my work truck and I left all this stuff in it. I am sorry, um, I did not mean to do this. I meant to be able to just show you the truck, trunk. But now I'll unload this real quick. And like I say, it is my work trunk right now or work truck as I call it. Look at this, weather strippings in great shape. Still got the jack usage instructions. All that's on it. This piece is flipping down. You can flip it up, but it'll probably come down in a while. Um, tool set. I actually untied that yesterday for pictures and stuff. So it was all tied up. I don't even know if it had ever been opened. Um, even the cover for the spare is all good. Just a uniquely clean little car. Now you have to bear with me as I clean up my mess and get this stuff back in my trunk.
Boomity boom. Volvo work truck. Okay. I've left this open to where it ding, ding, dings. And it's really ding, ding, dinging a bit too much for me. SRS airbags. We did the exterior. Door panels, great condition. Now I'm willing, if you need a, here. That's the little thing right there, awesome. If you need a um, set of speakers for this, I will sell you a set of speakers um, for, oh, 20, probably about, it depends on which ones you pick, between about 17 to $28 a piece per set. So replace the front ones, and they are the old speakers, so you'll get a lot better sound out of what I'm selling you, and they have a one year or two year warranty. Um, so they're good, good, and very loud, and high quality sound. Or you can just go to Best Buy or something and buy whatever you get. Another one of them, another one of them. I swear this thing doesn't smell like it. Send somebody to inspect it, whatever. I don't know. A little standage there. Great shape. I didn't shampoo this or nothing else. If a guy did it, I think it would look, I think, I think it would look absolutely beautiful. Um, so that's the interior. Like I say, AC. Carpets are clean. And that's that. I'm gonna show you under the hood, where you see that too. Just clean as can be. Clean as can be. Okay, you ready for this? Look at this. I'll start off up here. Again, start off right here. Clean with all kinds of stickers and stuff. Achtung. Hey, it doesn't say that. Oh, because it's not from Germany. close-ups that's a pretty much roundabout thing it could be this it's getting towards the end of the reign of these 240s and these later years like this are usually the ones that people want look at this beautiful motor I mean it's just so clean it can't have much many more than stated new oil filter and I didn't put it on he changed it um, it has an oil change sticker in the dash but you have to keep track of something different to figure it out because it doesn't turn like it should. Beautiful! Absolutely beautiful. Okay, that's under the hood. And I have shown you the complete car. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Like I said, Encinitas Ford trade-in. So it was the Ford dealer here that took it on trade. Thanks for watching. You can check out cansoup.com. If you didn't see the exterior or the test drive, you will. And you can. I'll get links in here. Look at that beautiful car. Serious. It's nice. If you're looking for a 240, stop it and call me. Nathan, 406-642-9602. That's that. What a nice car. And I know I've said that a few times. I'm going to go around it one more time. Think about if I missed anything. But I absolutely don't think I did. So that's that. Check out the other videos. I'm going to loop them all together and make one final of everything. I wonder if that guy's okay. And that's the deal. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. What I dropped my stinking detail in town. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. One owner car guy dot com. <whistles> it's about as nice as it gets for a Volvo here. We'll talk to you. One owner car guy. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I'm back with this 1990 Volvo 240 DL. And I'm going to do a quick walk around in this kind of half light, half not light. Walk my shadow right through my car. To where you can get a good look at it in a couple different lights. I've got it in the daytime. In the bright sunny light. And I'm going to do the interior video and get you the interior in the shadowy, not bright light. I guess you'd say. Absolutely beautiful. Great looking car. And I'm going to go ahead and do the test drive on this one. But like I said, I wanted to give you the once around before we got in it and went. Now by this point, you've probably seen the exterior, the interior, and all that stuff. But if not, hey, check them out. There'll be some links in here somewhere. And I just wanted to... The lights. Everything looks just so nice going down the sides of this car. 
And that's the deal. Okay. With that, I'm going to get on the road, and I'll tell you, these cars drive. And this one is no exception. I've been driving this one around for the past... I don't even want to think about it. It's been almost a month. Time flies when you're having fun. And it's not just the car. It's just in general. Make sure and subscribe. It's Cereal Marshmallows here on YouTube. And you can also add me on Instagram. It's also Cereal Marshmallows. And that's that. So, in the car, going for the test drive. These people are like, oh, what are you doing? So, we have the test drive going on. Beautiful day. Actually, I'm going to turn the AC off. I should have showed you more at startup and stuff, but I was kind of thrown off there. How about this? We'll drive down the road a bit, and we'll do this whole thing over. Well, not really over. Now, the car goes. Play it simple. It's got a nice set of tires on it. I mean, it's a zippy little fun car to drive. That is just a beautiful sunset coming on. 40 miles an hour and you get there just like all of right now. Okay. So. Go down here and do it to it. And I'm here to tell you. I mean, right now, buddy, oops. <laughs> uh, right now, power. Okay, so I'm going to pull over here. Kind of give you a another look at it, I guess you'd say. A different way. And fired off! From the start. Okay, now like I said, yes, I have went over the exterior and interior, but this is just such a beautiful light here. I might actually do it to it again. Great running little car. There's another once around, I guess you'd say. Yeehaw. Beautiful. Okay, so. That's the deal. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. And like I said, nice set of tires. Man, little titty still on the sides and stuff. Okay. And you know, that's the first time that's really creaked on me like that. I just noticed. I'll put a little oil on that. If I don't, don't hate me now. I might forget. It's just a little pss, 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 real quick, you know? Auto antenna is actually going down. I was going to show that, but I couldn't figure out how to get out fast enough. Okay, let's show the dash. Bingo bango. We'll back it off. Oh, 158, 204. And as we know, that one is a true Volvo because. That one won't turn. There we go. Fires up nicely. Here's your antenna going up. It goes down fine as well. And with that in mind, we go the long way.
I'm serious, man. Zero to 40 in this car is right now. That's how, that's what it is. It's right now. I don't know if you've seen that. I don't know if I gave it time to focus or not. But, and the reason I left that sticker in on, I said focus and it reminded me of the Ford. But it's from Encinitas Ford. It was a new car trade-in. And if my AC has been too loud during this little test drive, I'm sorry. It feels nice. That's what she said. Wow, I could have just like kept it peeling out, man. I'm serious, it's a zippy little car. I get lots of different cars and I like to stick under, on these, you stick under 300,000, you're pretty good. But I, I stick under a certain range usually and this one, you get in it and it's just got the look and the feel and the snap ability when you drive it. The snap ability, huh? Yeah, it's snappy. I don't want to get on it right here because I'll light them up. Okay, back doing it, tuning it. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Um, you can check out my website. <clears throat> I've got a full review of this car with about, I don't know, 80, 90 pictures. It's www.oneownercarguy.com. Check that out. And other than that, check out cansoup.com and tinybeagles.com and many more that you can connect to through them. Okay, test drive is essentially over. Oh, watch this. Click, one click of the button, right now, buddy. It works, that's my point. That is the overdrive, and that is probably the most commonly not working thing in these. And amazingly enough, this one works. And it's got the um, full power windows, AC that works. It is a nice, nice little car. I'm serious, you get on it right here on this hill, you start peeling them back tires out, buddy. Nice little car. Okay, we'll call that our test drive, and I'm up here to do I actually swapped them around to the test drive first and then the interior because basically time of day it's all time of day so we got these people up here they're gonna be like what's he doing he's like recording I am I'm gonna record the air conditioning to where they don't give me hell now this guy's in this spot that's okay and the dogs are out They'll bark during the entire interior video. They do it every time. Look at them running back and forth. Just running back and forth. Now that is a dog that's just not... not just back and forth. Go all the way back now. <laughs> Seriously? Come on back over this way now. Okay, well that's enough of our test drive video. He's gonna sit here now. He's gonna bark at me when I get out, watch. Okay, well that's the deal. Hey, catch the tail. That dog's out of breath now. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, well there's the car, you've seen it. Enjoy, I hope you did. It is a pleasure to drive. I'm sure over the years you replace and repair something. Right now, ain't much replace and repair, it's just like it is. Anything I've showed you in the exterior, the little dent in the front and stuff, and yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to show you in it. And no, because the exterior took care of one, interior is going to take care of the other. And that's why I like to split them up a bit, is to make sure I get you the best review possible of the exact car that you're buying. Thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com.